Welcome to Drone Recipe. My name is Peter. I'm the host for the show. And today we're going to be repairing or replacing a LiPo balance connector. And in this instance, I have a 6S LiPo battery that needs repair, as you can see. So I've just purchased the JST XH connector. And what I'm going to do is just solder it directly. Now there's a few ways of repairing the LiPo lead. You can actually solder the wires together. You don't necessarily have to do what I'm going to be doing. Or just replacing the actual JST connector on the top. And I also have some polyamide or capped on tape. Which is optional. I have this fiberglass type of tape and some electrical tape. Which is optional as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this fiberglass outer sheathing here. And you can see that on both ends there's a, an aluminum plate. But once I lift it off you can see the connections with the capped on tape insulating the six individual cells on the battery. Now, if your battery seems to be loose, cells kind of flopping around, just secure it with some tape around the middle or the base, and you're going to need another form of securing it while you're soldering it. Okay, so we have all the polyamide tape off, and there's different ways of repairing this. Sometimes you don't need to do what I'm doing. You can just replace this part here. Sometimes you need a little bit of solder to get the heat transfer going. That's what you're going to do, and you want to be careful about the heat here. So we got one. We got one, so now we're going to go here and start with the negative. So we give it a little zoom in. And yeah, so I'm just going to connect this like that. Okay, there's one. I just want to pause it here for a brief moment just to tell you, because I don't do it in the video, that it's best practice to, after soldering each wire, it to tape it with some of that Kapton tape and isolate it every single time. So this, just in case your iron touches something else and you get a short, so it's just preventative and good practice. I apologize I don't show you, but I do mention it. Some more solder. This is the second one here. There we go. Very quick. Get the second wire. There we go. Here's the third wire. Closer here. Or so third wire. Oops. Third. Oh, I don't like that. Just a little more. guy here. Use eye protection. See, I shouldn't. It's kind of long. A little more solder here. Alright. And what's next? This purple one. 
I didn't I didn't shorten any wire. Oh jeez. That's good. Now this guy here. Alright. That's when you know a little you need a little more solder. That's good, at least I'm not too complacent. Because we don't want that. And more solder. You don't want to apply too much heat. You need to transfer, right? So sometimes you just need a little bit a little more solder. Should be done. So I like to just strip off an edge here like this. Now an edge or a strip. And just give it a little slits. Lift it up with the scalpel. If you don't have a scalpel, I apologize. Now you can also use electrical tape or whatever you have, but I would recommend at the very least electrical tape. But if you have the choice, then go for the polyvide or Kapton tape. Kapton is the brand, I believe. And just use that. Now really I should be using this just to check. Right on. Okay. Not an ideal uh, voltage to keep it at, but I can't really do anything until I got this fixed, right? So I can just do this for at least two now. right in and around here so you know these don't pop up easily and uh, potentially cause a short as well now this tape here is a fiberglass tape it's also heat resistant anywhere from 250 to 300 degrees so good tape well I'm gonna use it it 
we're going to finish it off with some epoxy or in here uh, just to further protect it and there you go it's done try one more time make sure it's good so there you go that's how you uh, repair or replace a balanced lead on a lipo battery if you found this useful or you like this video please give it uh, a thumbs up share it you know all that good stuff